Okay, I have not filmed in like two weeks. It seriously feels so weird, but I have so much I wanna catch you guys up on. So if you're looking to just like chit chat and hang out with me, then that's what today's video is gonna be. So I think the last vlog I filmed was Sean's birthday, right? We had Sean's birthday, Sean is one. I still owe you guys like a one year update, which I'm gonna try to do soon. Sean is officially one. Then we had my birthday, which I just like that whole week, I pretty much took off. It was a really good birthday. I am officially 34 years old, but it was a really pretty day. I had book club in the morning with my friends and then I hung out with Mimi and Papa and like with the fam. I got to see my grandparents and stuff. And then at night we went to date night at church joe and i and some of our friends so it was a great birthday and that whole day i just was thanking god really just like for all the blessings and i felt like it was just like the first year in a really long time that i can remember like i celebrated with not only my family but also friends and it was just a very beautiful day that was like my birthday and then where have i been it is the 21st so what has happened in the last 11 days i'm trying to like get you guys caught up so we don't miss anything i've really still just been in homeschool back to school mode we've been doing a bunch of work at co-op to start like prepping for the year we had parent open house like new parent orientation or whatever i did some back to school shopping for the kids which if i can remember i'll show you guys some of the clothes that i picked up i showed you guys on instagram but if you don't follow me there got the kids like some lunch boxes to take to co-op and then like clothes and shoes i've been buying for them too so just trying to think about like what i'm gonna need for this next school year. Most of their curriculum I already had because I've shown you guys their curriculum. I still get questions like, what curriculum are you guys using for school and stuff? And what do you use with the kids? I have a whole video on that. So I'm gonna try to see if I remember to link it in case you guys are also like trying to figure out what to do with your kids. But I will say that at this point, we've started easing our way back into the school year. So we already had, like we, we didn't do like an official back to do school, like first day of school. We just kind of have been rolling into it. And so like the last two weeks, We've been pulling out like the kids core subjects like language arts and math. We've been doing Spanish. We started our history program. So we're doing, it's so cute. We're doing like the whole Roman empire is really like the like time period that we're covering. So the curriculum that I use has like a bunch of activities that you can do with the kids. So last week I made them or like, I found just random stuff around the house and I made them like these little toga looking things so that they could like wear what the romans used to wear and then we have like all kinds of like these books and stuff around the house so this is a good one this one is like an usborn book but it's all about the roman empire and they can look through it and the whole point is just to get them familiar with like how the romans lived and i am learning so much stuff which has been really cool one of the things that i love about homeschool let me show you what riley did too here on my fridge we did like romans like i guess the romans used to like make all these signs like that they would put on their walls and stuff so riley did this one which means beware of the cat so that is riley over here with her little cat, beware of the cat yeah because if you look at it you're gonna fall in love with it and then you're just gonna be stuck with it yeah stuck and with it forever time your mom comes, okay, it's time to go. You're just not gonna talk to her. You're just gonna stare at the cat forever. Oh, very good. All of that just to say like, we've been kind of getting back into the rhythm of school and I know I will then get a bunch of questions about the cat because every time, like I don't even have to mention a cat, you guys, and everybody still is asking me when is Riley getting her cat, all of that. The only thing that I'm gonna tell you is that the cat is still in the works what that means, when it will happen. Um, that is not even up to me at this point, but we still have plans of getting a cat. We just have to be a little bit patient. So I appreciate all of your patience and all of your concern about whether or not my child will be getting a cat soon. Everybody over here apparently is like writing internet's bestie aunt who's like, can you get the poor child a cat? We've been talking about it and we made a very real step here is I guess what I can tell you to get closer to getting our cat. So hopefully soon that will be here. And I promise that I'm not gonna hide the cat when we get the cat. So that's a little update on that. Sean is over here making a complete mess like always, what is new? But look how cute he is, you guys. He's like a tiny little human now. He's like a little man. Hi, Gordo. Hey, Sean, how does the cow go? Moo. <laughs> He's got his little shoes on. I had bought these for him at Target. They're like little smiley faces. Do you love your brother? Yeah. Yeah? He's so cute. He's so cute. But I've been trying to keep him like contained. He's looking for his cow, right? You go get him his cow. I've been trying to keep him contained in like this general area here. And he's like trying to escape constantly. It's been very difficult to keep him entertained because he's like on the move 
still obsessed with all his birthday gifts. Where is the cow? You gotta find it. Oh, it's over there by the door. But yeah, he's been so fun and a million updates on him. Like he's not quite walking. Um, I guess I'll give you like a mini update of him. He's not quite walking, but he's pushing the walker, like the little walking toy, like crazy. So now he's very much like pulling up and walking using the walker. I think the biggest, like the biggest piece of news that I can give anybody, including myself, <laughs> The fact that he is now sleeping so much better throughout the night. When I took Sean in for his one year appointment, the doctor was basically like, look, we've got to get this kid sleeping. She kind of gave me like the green light to full on sleep train him, let him cry at night, he will be fine. And so I had waited a long time. I hadn't done it as early as I had done it with the other two kids, but we finally did like a night of like, you're gonna cry for like an hour and a half. And he did, and then he started sleeping much better. So it was like, I'll talk more in depth when I do my update for him. But now when I put him down for bed, um, like I put him down 6.30 or 7, and I won't hear him usually until sometimes like 5.30 he'll wake up and then I try to let him figure it out and go back to sleep so he sleeps a little longer. But like, dude, I was getting, I was getting like two hour stretches, if that, for like a whole year of my life. So I will gladly take this. Um, it just has done wonders to my mental health. So he's sleeping better, yay! Everybody clap for me as your friend, like be happy for me. So that is like huge news, very happy about that. And then this week, today's Wednesday, Joe's been gone since Monday. I am solo with the kids this week, so if I look tired, <laughs> because I am. I've been doing it, surviving, um, but yeah, it's been hard the last couple days because it's just me with all these kids and doing all the things and I don't have like that, you know, person coming home to hand off the duties too. So when I post this, he'll be back home, but he had to go to St. Augustine for work. So he's doing that this week. And yeah, that's kind of like getting you up to speed on like what we've been doing. I hope you guys have been doing great, enjoying like the last bit of your summer. I actually, I'm gonna stop talking to the camera now cause we're gonna go, we have plans today to go to my sister's house. So we're gonna go to Titi's apartment and then there's a Trader Joe's like kind of in her general area. So we're gonna go to the Trader Joe's, which I haven't been to a Trader Joe's it's probably been at least like four or five years. Like I haven't been in ages and everybody's always like sharing all the stuff that they get there. I don't know if like all the fall stuff will be out when I go, which is gonna be sad because all I want is like a pumpkin donut, apple spice donut. Well, my friend, I went to my friend's house and she had apple spice donuts from Trader Joe's. So I wonder if like if her Trader Joe's had them, like then they should have them for me. So yeah, that's our day. Just doing something different because I did not leave here yesterday or, or yesterday or the day before. So I'm kind of going stir crazy. So we'll go to Trader Joe's. If I end up getting anything, which I'm sure God willing, I will. Um, I'll let you guys see a little Trader Joe's haul. And then we've got a bunch of other stuff to do here around the house. I can show you some of that clothes that I got the kids. So let's hang, but I'll be back in a bit. All right guys, we made it back home. We had the best time with my sister. We went to her place. And then from there, like we hung out for a little bit. The kids got a little play date. So it was nice to see Everly and Grayson. And then we went to Trader Joe's together, had a little shopping trip. They had a lot of stuff. I have like all my bags here, right? So I've got tons of food to share with you. Some of this, I don't know, some of it will be good. Some of it, I have no clue. I needed to do some groceries anyway. So took advantage of the fact that I don't go to Trader Joe's often because there's not one that's like close to me. So just a bunch of stuff to try. And then if there's anything worth repurchasing which by the way if you have any of like your favorite stuff let me know what it is because i may have missed quite a few things but if there's anything worth me um like getting again then the next time i go to her place i can stop by there was a bunch of like ice cream stuff that i wanted to get but i couldn't get too much like frozen stuff because it was gonna melt on the way home so maybe next time i told her we would go to trader joe's first and then go to her place and have like an ice cream party so that's the plan but it was nice and then i was so proud of myself because I was on the highway, which you guys know, like I'm not a big highway driver and it was also raining. So like mix the two, it's kind of far. My sister lives like a good, like 40-ish minutes from me. Like she's not super close. And then um, we have to take the highway to get there. So that kind of like freaks me out a little bit, but then it was also raining. So I feel like I did a good thing today, worked on my fears, worked on like my driving anxiety and I've come a long way. So I was proud of myself. So let's just do a little haul. Kids are dying to dig into this. 
So we needed decaf coffee for Joe and I's like date night at night, like after the kids hey, go to look, bed. It says Joe. It does. It say de it says decaf Joe. So decaf coffee. We got some like Cheeto puffs for the kids. Hey Joe. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of these pretzels, like the chocolate covered pretzels. I've heard a lot of good things, but I have like different varieties. So we'll find a favorite for sure. I picked up some of their oh, wine no. because I did remember that they have pretty decent price like wines. So this was a Trader Joe's Cabernet Sauvignon. I think it was like $6.99. And then we found some like fall colored pasta that the kids thought would be fun. So we got that. These were some of their like pita crackers that we will eat. The kids were stoked to see this, the little mini peanut butter um, crackers. And then I guess like their spin on goldfish. So the yeah, kids are gonna I, try I, those. I these were fun. These were like 49 cents each, like these little fruit leathers. My sister bought them for Everly and, and not Grayson, but for Everly to try. And they have them on all like different flavors, but they're organic. So apple, strawberry, they're like the little, what would you call them? Like the fruit roll up kind of fruit leather things. So we'll try those. I got this dark chocolate bar with almonds, the Trader Joe's one, to see if that is any good. These are like um, breakfast bars, these little apple bars. They had them in different flavors, but they were at a pretty good price. And it said made with organic wheat and can oats. Can we try one of these? Yeah, you can open one and try it. And then what else? Oh, I picked up this Trader Joe's, the dark chocolate bar with almonds, just to see which one was better. And then this I'm was thirsty. pasta sauce. So maybe I'll do that fall, like, colored pasta with this one. This is like a cream, Italian tomatoes, and some kind of a cheese. So almost like a vodka sauce maybe. This was the other thing of pretzels, the mocha latte pretzels. And by the way, I was very sad because they didn't have their fall stuff. The guy, I asked the guy at checkout, like, when are you getting your fall stuff? And he's like, sometime like mid-September, it could be earlier. He's like, last year we got some stuff earlier. The one thing I did find though, were the apple cider donuts. So I wasn't too sad because this is exactly what I was looking for. Because my friend the other day when we went to her house, she had some of these. So at least they had these, um, but they didn't have like pumpkin stuff. And I was hoping to find that. So I'll have to do like another trip one of these days. I got this, which is some more pretzel slims, but they're like cookies and cream. So all of these are like treats. And then I did get this for myself, a tuna salad wrap that I'm gonna devour right now because I haven't eaten lunch and I'm really hungry. And that looked good. These are just blueberries. I got like a little bit of produce, some tomatoes, blueberries. This is something that I can never find though at my grocery store. So I was excited to find them, like just little microgreens to put on avocado toast. I can do like toast or like a bagel, avocado, like the fried egg, and then put some of the microgreens and make it feel very much like I'm eating it at a restaurant or like, you know, somewhere, but it's at home and it's like half the price. And then what else? I found this lemon basil pasta salad that I also may eat right now or have it for dinner. I did get a bunch of cheeses, or not a bunch, I wanted to get more, but this one is the Toscano cheese. Um, it was like one of the highlighted cheeses, but my friend, I had called her, she had called me earlier today. She's like, look for the Italian truffle cheese. So I got this one. This whole block is like $7.69. I don't know if that's good or not. Like good cheeses cost money. So you're gonna have to spend some money if you want like a good like wine and cheese pairing. But they had so many varieties. So like, let me know if you have like a favorite cheese at Trader Joe's so I can look for it next time. And then I got just some of their chunky guacamole. These look like they would be good. White truffle potato chips. I got two different granolas because I'm running low on granola and I eat that all the time with my yogurt. So that's like a staple. So this one is maple pecan granola. Granola, and then this one was a chocolate peanut butter granola. I don't know, it looks really good. But you said try everything. Yeah, I didn't say try everything, okay? I said you can make a snack plate and try some of the snacks, okay? Not try everything. But let's try to open the box without ripping the whole thing, okay? Mama gets the first one. Those are good. Okay, so then more chocolate covered pretzels, but these are the strawberry and vanilla yogurt pretzels. I got some flaxseed because I had been looking like to add flax into um, like some of either my yogurt or like smoothies and stuff. But then on the back, there's a really simple recipe for like no bake energy bites in oh, case you guys want to see that. So I'm forever. hoping to make these for us Mom, this week. Also got this giant tub of the crunchy cookies because those looked super good. And it's like nice because you can get like a nice little, just like a tiny little cookie is something sweet after your meal without like indulging in like a huge thing. This though, I was so happy yeah. that I found uh, because this is like what had inspired my obsession with the Pellegrino, the blood orange Pellegrinos. 
This is what my friend had served us one day at when we had like a photo shoot or whatever. It is the Villa Italia Italian Blood Orange Soda. It is so good. So I got two of them because like it's something that I knew very much that I liked. So these are gonna go in the fridge. So that's something that every time I go there, I will look for. So let's see, I got some hummus. I got just like their organic plain hummus. And then all of this stuff is probably melted, which I need to put in the freezer. But I picked up their mandarin orange chicken for like a quick dinner. And all of this is great because if I don't feel like cooking this week, since Joe's not here, this is like easy stuff. I got their chicken fried rice, which I've heard is pretty good. And then I got this pasta that I don't know if it's gonna be good. If it's good, it will make me so happy because it's very similar to a pasta that I love at one of my favorite restaurants. So we'll try that. I also got their edamame. They have like salted edamame, which all of my kids, well not Sean, but the other two kids love edamame when we go and we get like sushi and stuff. They won't eat sushi, but they will eat edamame. Got some prosciutto for me. And then I thought this sounded good, the maple chicken breakfast sausage. This also sounded good, the butternut squash ravioli. So just something easy. And then these taquitos, the chicken taquitos just like so I can have something quick for lunch. And then I got Joe, there were like these two pizzas that I thought looked good. So I got Joe this barbecue chicken pizza cause he's a barbecue chicken pizza kind of guy. That's not my favorite pizza, but this looked delicious. And I had seen it in a YouTube video of somebody that I was watching, um, the burrata prosciutto and arugula flatbread. I will keep you posted, hopefully, let you know how it is because all of those are my favorite things. So hopefully it is very yummy. So that is my Trader Joe's haul. I'm gonna put everything away because I literally just have this huge mess on my counter now. The kids are gonna make themselves a little snack play and they're gonna watch a movie. Sean is taking a nap. So we have a little bit of downtime, which is good because he screamed the entire way home. He was crying and at least it wasn't like epic rain downpour. Like I could at least see when I was driving. Like it wasn't that plus Sean crying, but he was definitely not happy in the car, which was very annoying for a very long time. So let me relax. And then as soon as I get all this stuff put away, maybe we can chat about some other stuff. Here, Raggy, here's your chicken. You want honey? Sean is awake. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Was that a good nap? Was that a good nap? He let me at least get a few chores and things done. I was able to eat some food because I was starving. So let's go downstairs so you can play. All right, little man, let's get you out of your sleep sack. Don't yell at me because I gotta put you down. Okay, don't yell, don't yell, don't yell. Don't yell. I said don't yell. I'm just taking off your sleep sack. This is so fun. Don't be mad. He hates. Lately, when I put him down like um, like that, like to lay down and take off his sleep sack, or if I'm trying to change his diaper, he gets really mad at me. So we are in that stage. No. So we're in that stage of like being super sensitive to that. Hi. Okay, so never mind. He was hungry, so I just put him here to have a snack or whatever we're gonna call this snack dinner. So we've got mozzarella cheese, and then all of this is hard boiled egg, like just like the egg white part. Trying to get him to like that a little more. Anyway, before he woke up, I was trying to make myself some coffee because it's like 4.45 and I need like something like a pick me up because if not, I'm not gonna make it through the rest of the night and bedtime and all of that for the kids. So I'm gonna show you how I've been doing my iced coffee. Okay, we got ice, we've got our coffee. We're gonna make like a nice little treat. This right now is my go-to creamer. This one, the pumpkin one, it's so good. I get this at Publix, have it at Walmart. It's just delicious. And it's like one of the better for you like creamers. Like it's not super unhealthy. Coffee and then the creamer. I like my coffee, like you guys know, like mostly <laughs> creamer, but that's so satisfying. And then what I do is I found this at Walmart, you guys. They have freaking like pumpkin cold foam, okay? So this is what I would usually ask for at Starbucks with all my fall drinks. But this, you just kind of like shake it a little bit and then hopefully it's working good today because some days it's a little bit more liquidy. 
But like, look at that. You have legit cold foam in your cold drinks and this one is pumpkin flavored, right? Pumpkin pie or whatever. It tastes like pretty much just like if you were going to Starbucks and having a drink only not as expensive and here at home. So when I feel like doing something like nice for myself like that to get me through the rest of the day, this has been what I've been reaching for. It's so yummy. All right, we're going to spend some time in the kids' room because their room is a disaster and it's actually quite difficult to be in here because Sean is here and he's getting into all of like Riley's teeny tiny little things. So then what often happens is like it's just hard for me to get anything done in the kids rooms unless I come up here during nap time which I don't really want to do all the time. So we have to be a little productive dude just like a little bit. A lot. I'm just gonna try to keep him entertained with some of the toys that are in here but he's got to go like that away that's probably gonna be very short-lived so i'm gonna put away i've got books everywhere there's like just so much mess but then on top of that i got clothes for the kids so i'm gonna do a quick little haul okay sorry joe called me and then i was talking to him for a minute but it occurred to me i have actually shared a lot of the stuff that i got from target for the kids i've shared it in that target haul that i did but i got like since then i got some new stuff that you guys haven't seen yet so i'll have everything linked down below but look i got jackson some dress shoes i thought those were cute for him and then i also got him just some sneakers because Finally, his old those ones stinky shoes are done. <laughs> yeah his stinky like dress shoes are gone but i got him these little sneakers and i have some other ones coming in from old navy that are really cute and then riley needed a new pair of sneakers so i got her you know these and all of them were like at a really good price <laughs> i got the kids some socks because they were in need of socks and then i got this dress for riley that's really cute i got jackson this shirt just like a little dress shirt i got this stuff when they had 30 percent off the other day look at how awesome this shirt is that i found for jackson <laughs> It's got like the Hot Wheels. He's gonna love this one. Like I showed it to him and he was very happy with it. And then I got him those same shorts in this like gray color, which are really yeah. nice. And I think everything else you guys have seen, but I did get Riley her school polos, like her, um, not school, but like her co-op for co-op she needs to wear a uniform. So I got her the polo shirts at Target and those were great, they fit her awesome and I got him at a good price so I got her red white and blue and then she has this jumper that she wore last year this one I got from Amazon but then this one's kind of getting a little short so I ordered her just like a new one in the khaki so that's what she'll wear when she goes to co-op because they want all the kids in uniform and then for Jackson they also want him in uniform this year so I found these little shorts for him on Amazon they're from children's place they're a size four but children's place at least the listing that I found had a four slim um, this is what it's like when I'm trying to do anything with kids. So it fits his waist and they fit him like really nice. Hi, baby. I love you. Love you too. And then I got him his white polo too. So both the kids in uniforms. So now we've got like school supplies done, lunch boxes done. We've got shoes pretty much done. We've got uniforms. So I'm feeling like I'm starting to like have everything that I need for the next like school year. Now I have a mess. So I have to put everything away. This is what is happening. This is what's going down right now. I'm trying to keep Sean entertained and he is like not having it. What are you trying to do, buddy? Where are you trying to go? What's that? Here, play with the helicopter. Here. You want to learn how to go down? You got to go this way. Got to teach him how to climb down so he doesn't fall straight on his face. Good job, bud. All right, we need to clean up. Let's start. Let's start, everybody. This room is giving me like hives. Let's go. Oh. Step on something, then let go. Oh, I don't want to touch that. Let me see. And what are hives? If there's anything there you see that you can put away, you put it away. This is actually like gonna take a lot of time, okay? Yeah. But this is actually really occasional. I don't usually fold clothes. Okay? Okay, but you can help out your mom by folding your clothes. Usually you fold them and I put them away. I know, but now you're helping me because you're a big girl. Now I kind of know how to fold. That's great. Wait, not too much, but just a little bit. Just enough. Just enough that I can fold do it. them and do it. Does this go to Sean? That's Sean's, yeah. Okay, this is the pile of Sean stuff. Two. Okay, so there we go. Their room looks a million times better. It's not perfect, but at least I can see the floor. 
which is really good. I don't know if I had shown you guys that I hung up this little shelf here in their room. This shelf used to belong in Riley's room in the old house. And so I put it here and it's cute because like the kids hang their rosaries here. And we have like a couple different things like St. Michael the Archangel. And then this was like a 3D printed Ark of the Covenant that Joe did for one of Riley's projects and little guardian angel card. So this is like the little corner of Jesus. But yeah, glad we did that because I've been putting off this room like the whole week because I never had like the right moment to get to it. And Sean, I mean, it took a lot, like it took much longer to clean this room than it needed to. It was just a million interruptions, a million, put him here, put him there, take him this place, but whatever, at least it got done. So that's what I'm embracing, the fact that everything I do just has to be done much slower and that's okay i actually finished reading um the ruthless elimination of hurry that book that i told you guys i was gonna read and i owe you guys like a full-on like book review i think i'm saving it to do it in like a laundry chat but it's definitely something i need to be reminded of on the daily just to allow myself to do things a little slower not be so hurried not be so rushed because even if i wanted to like i just can't i just cannot do whole lot so let's not set myself up for failure so let's go downstairs we gotta start dinner soon and i'll talk to you guys in a bit good to how's your spaghetti yum what are you doing i was trying to see if it was in that little crack how's your rocket going it's going brilliant actually it's going brilliant but i'm just i want to um put this on display i don't want to break it because it's going to take too long you want to tell the guys what you've been building i've been building this huge rocket that my dad has took out this is a little bit of it and this is going to be the top yeah Another side of this. So. I'm building the bottom, then I get to put this at least up there. So it's a big giant rocket? It's a giant one. A Lego rocket. It's a Lego rocket. So what, you put that piece on top? Th this piece on top, but I first need to at least put the little things on the bottom. I'm missing a piece, so that counts now. Have you had a nice day? Yes, I have. Did you have fun with Didi today? Yeah. With Everly? Yeah. What was your favorite thing you played with Everly? Uh, the obstacle course. Oh, that's right. We did an obstacle course. That was fun. Look, so you can see what my house looks like. Jackson's been watching this documentary about ocean explorers and whales. So he's been doing that, but he's also been playing with Play-Doh. These look like pieces of poop. Jackson. What are you doing with that Play-Doh? Hugging it. Yeah, he's been really into this. It's like one of his favorite activities recently. I know it literally looks like pieces of poop. It's but not, it's, it's not poop. Play -Doh. It's Play-Doh, but he's been into cutting Play-Doh, which is really good for like working on his motor skills. Ah. But I tell him like he's got to be careful with cutting it because we don't need little pieces of Play-Doh on the floor where Sean can get it. But that's been like keeping him super entertained lately. What did you do? You put it together? Nice. This part, obviously. Riley, it looks great. Is it gonna fall over? I don't think so. Not yet. No. Now, pack eleven. Then oh. twelve. Oh, there's another pack to go through. Yeah. Then I need it. the last one. It's twelve. Oh, very oh, cool. That is taller. But yeah. Now, but I'm... she's had the instructions. Like she's been going through the little booklet that shows Wait, them how to that. build it. Oh, sorry. You're over here. Because I have not helped her with this. That is not my thing. Even my dad. But it's so but he cool. It does help me actually find the pieces and I. And you build it? And I build it. That's I've been her like, bonding activity with Joe lately. I've lightly made no mistakes. Oh, okay. Of course not. Of course not. Oh, this guy is going to town on his spaghetti. He really likes spaghetti, which makes There's me super happy. Oh. I also need to get the other kids fed. I need to eat myself, but I have like a late lunch. So I was going to show you. The other thing that's been making me super happy is I have a new like baby plant. Like I've shown you this plant before, but look how much it's grown. Like this all came from like the plant that I have that like wait, I'll show you the big plant that's by the bookshelf. But these leaves, like they started off being propagated in water like this. Like I'm propagating another set over here. And then when they got roots big enough, I put it in here in soil. And now like this legit looks like it could be 
its own little plant that you would like buy at the store only it came from my big mama plant see it's all from like this main big plant which is super much thriving like it's super long at this point but from there i took the cuttings and then i have another plant so i'm gonna probably keep doing this over and over again because this plant just keeps growing and whatever it just makes me happy that my house plants are thriving i have to get a bigger pot for the monstera that i have on the floor over there but even my pothos that i brought from virginia it had kind of like dwindled off and was looking really sad and i somehow brought that one back to life so again just happy news in my plant world oh and other good news that i haven't shared is that it's looking like remember jackson's been in speech therapy it's looking like um his therapist told me like last week that she's thinking that she's going to be ready to graduate him very soon so i think this upcoming week may be his last session for a little while but she's been super happy with his progress and i've been super happy with his progress we still have to work with him like on certain things but like i can just work with him on that like at home through school and stuff but he's come a long way since we started doing speech we did it for i think like almost a year and just doing like once a week the sessions and i found it to be very helpful so just like a little reminder like if you see that your child is maybe struggling with something and you get them evaluated and they tell you like yeah they could use a little bit of help like there's no shame in that and getting them the help that they need i'm glad i didn't wait any longer like i'm glad that you know she was able to work with him and it just gave him some very dedicated focused time to work on that which i just appreciated so much but yeah jackson is looking like he's gonna be graduating out of speech and that'll be nice because then it won't be money that i have to pay out of pocket every week and then my plan was i told joe that now like that we won't have the payment for speech therapy we can use that money and put it towards a house cleaner so that's kind of like all the stuff that's been on my mind is just somebody to help me even if it's once a month i have to get a quote i have to find people that i like like it's always a mission right so if that works out that will be like just a huge load of work like off my shoulders so that i have more time to enjoy my children i have more time to just do school and play without constantly looking at every inch of my house i mean i'm still gonna look at it and be like wow there's a mess but like at least i don't have to worry about the cleanliness as much and i don't have to worry about like cleaning the toilets as often and anything at this point would be a huge help so that's another thing that's been going on all right so it's a little later everybody is in their beds um i mean it's a lot later now it's like nine o'clock sean is asleep and he's been sleeping for a little while but then i finally got the kids to bed and it was a little bit of a later night but whatever i got them all to bed everybody's good rivy's not yet asleep like jackson passed out he was so tired but rivy's been doing this thing the last few days where she brings up her like little sophie mouse chapter books up into her bunk and she spends like two hours up there reading like you can hear her probably just like reading out loud but whatever like i'm not gonna tell her stop reading your books it's good for her to read her books um that is what she's doing i was downstairs i had a very late dinner all by myself but at least it was like quiet and then i've been watching this show i'm like late to it i don't know if anybody's watched it um but my parents were watching it or my mom was watching it um but it's on netflix called your honor i don't know i just started watching it because they had said it was a really good show um but i don't know how long it's been around maybe i'm just like really late to the game but i've been watching it and it's like really suspenseful or whatever and it's got me hooked so i've been watching that the last couple days and that's like one of the like nice things about joe being gone like i don't like it when he's gone obviously i miss him but it has given me like that time to like you know watch some shows on my own and not feeling bad that i'm not paying attention to him you know like every once in a while it is kind of nice just to have um, a moment like that so i was doing that eating my dinner and then i made a i made some dough so that i can bake tomorrow morning because i have a friend coming over tomorrow morning for like a play date so she's gonna bring her kids and i figured it'd be nice to like have a fresh loaf of bread and maybe i can make avocado toast so i did that and then i'm just gonna hang here in my bed probably the rest of the night i really need to do some work so if i do work i might bring my computer into bed for like half an hour but i really gotta go to bed that's it for me i'm gonna go to bed i hope you guys are doing great i love your faces and i'll see you guys real soon in my next video bye guys